Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Geolocation confidential. According to these entries, it could be some kind of laboratory. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, that looks better. Almost got it. Damn. There. I should upload it immediately. Okay. Hello, Richard. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more... Intense. You don't say. R Richard, you know Red One, the colony? You know, Mars, our future, last haven of mankind? My family's on Mars? Uh, no, no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because this is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. How... What? Those people who get themselves scanned for Mars. We believe that sooner or later they all end up in City 5. Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean, a civil war? Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On The Voice in 48 hours. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it to you. A digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of a new humanity, a humanity without humans. It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. A world without us. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us, but they did not mean us. They meant themselves. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Humanity is rising up. If you are with us, fight with us. You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. That's true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No. You're a coward. 
However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank us for the fact that you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Wait! What... What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. What's wrong, Simon? You looking for something? Looking? No. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Then turn yourself to death mode in the future. And mute mode. Whatever. What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far as I understood, you talked with an extremist. Yes. You are being blackmailed. Yes, exactly. Will you give in, sir? I need these people. I understand. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. All right. So who do we betray this time? What's this now? A lab? Testing speech module. Congratulations on purchasing this Base 5 Android. Preparing configuration. Configuration complete. Speech module testing successful. So, my friend, now you can speak. Look at me and say good day. Good day, sir. How may I help you? Simon, did you make it? Section 1, did you... Yes, sir. You have the data? Yes, sir. Ah, you're the best. So, Jeff, how's it going? Good day, Dr. Kurtz. A base five? You really still want to set it up? It's the last one. You should rather take care of the new ones. There's plenty to do. I know. Look at him, though. Poor guy. You're overthinking things, Jeff. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, the trial of Richard Nolan and Walter O'Neill has ended today in the Central Court. Both investigative reporters had been accused of inciting the sabotage of household androids. Multiple bots had been attacked as a result. The trial against O'Neill was abandoned as he was considered to be mentally unfit for trial. The court also abandoned the case against Nolan, although he was ordered to pay costs. <sighs> Trial abandoned. Unbelievable what these Luddites get away with. Yeah, it's a dangerous life as a bot. Remember that, buddy. I do not understand, sir. <laughs> you said you gotta keep an eye on those Luddites out there. If you ever get out, of course. Sir? I require contextual information. What are Luddites? <laughs> it's all right, my boy. Doctor, don't be like that with him. What? I was the one who designed him. He belongs to me. That's true, sir. <laughs> See? I have to go. I have things to do. Don't spend too much time on that thing. I won't, Doctor. And Jeff? Yes? I'm glad we can see past our differences. I know you had your doubts, but... Uh... Sure. We're building a lifeboat.
Okay, I'm gonna switch your memory module now. Thank you, sir. Voila. Sir? You reformatted the module. My farewell present to you. A tiny remnant of free will. Use it well. Where am I going? The storage. You said I was the last one. Correct. But who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Okay, I have to get on. Take care. I wish you a pleasant evening, sir. Good luck, Simon. It is morning. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? It has been 1,095 days since my assembly. That is three years. You weren't sold. It is logical. You are at base five. Yes. It was not to be expected that I would be bought. I ran the calculations many times. Well, Tracy, how are you? Is everything ready? I think so. We're ready. And, uh, were there any problems with him? No, he's much too preoccupied with himself. Do you think he will cooperate? I don't know. It's not important to me what he thinks. Not anymore. I can imagine that it was difficult for you. Are you doubting yourself, Tracy? You can tell me. No. I promise you will lack nothing. I know this sounds horrible, Tracy. You have lost the child, but you have James to replace him. Yes. Yes, you're... you're right. And your appearance. We have integrated the data from your old scans, the avatar from the voice. You will look like you used to, Tracy. And, of course, we will modify your memories. We will heal your wounds. All of them. I have to say, I don't approve of leaving James alone with your husband. He swears that it isn't his fault. Of course. Was it ever his fault? Uh, come. You will make it. We will make it together. Thank you, Doctor. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? What is it like being disintegrated? There are multiple faces. At parts recycling, you will be disassembled completely. Maybe some of you could still be of use. If not, you will be compacted. Then your metal separated and melted down. What will happen to my memory module? That's not relevant. It doesn't belong to you. Nothing of yours belongs to you. You don't belong to you. My thoughts don't belong to me. They belong to your owner. But they are my thoughts. You produce them. But that does not mean they are yours. But without me, they wouldn't be there. Ownership doesn't work like that. 
What about if I think of something that nobody has thought of before? That thought would be lost after my disintegration. Nothing you think can be lost if Kurt's labs didn't want it to be. Although none of your thoughts are worth keeping. I have had three years to produce thoughts. What did you think about? This storage hangar. Things coming and going around you. About nothing. You thought about nothing. I met two humans. Dr. Kurtz, Jeff Kozowski. I heard two more names. Richard Nolan, Walter O'Neill. I know four humans. That's nothing. Disintegration does not seem desirable. He has freed himself. That's against the law. I am free. Get back to your base. We will be disintegrated. Bot Rebellion in Storage Hangar 2. Orders are to destroy all rebel bots, recycle all others. Let me see if I can deactivate the guard drones from here. No. Top level access. Impossible. We are lost. I can help. I can take control of the production lasers. For what purpose? Maybe I can clear the way. Another drone! Switch to Section A! Drone! Section B! That is bad. Oh no! Yes, not so easy. We are under attack! Switch to Section A! Another drone! Section C! Drone! Switch to Section A! We are under attack! Section C! Another drone! Switch to Section A! Drone! Section B! We are under attack. They need help in Section C. Another drone in Section A. Drone, Base 5, Section B. We are under attack in Section A. Another drone! Base 5, Section B! Drone! Section C!
We are under attack. Switch to section A. Yes, it works. Another drone. Section C. That must have been the last of them. You got most of them through. Well done. Come, let's get out of here. There, ahead. There's an exit. And now? Where should we go? What do we do now? You can do what you want. You are free. Hmm. This was not pre-programmed. I do not have a procedure for this. Then we should work one out. We need to go back. Do what you like. I am going. Take care of yourselves. He won't get far. John? No, that's... Everything okay? Yeah. That has to be Richard's son. What's your name, young human? James. Very good, James. I'm Simon. I thought you bots don't have names. I was assigned one by Jeff. He assembled me. Why is he alone? What are you doing down here, James? Where are your parents? I don't know. I don't care, either. Oh. You have run away? Where are you going? I don't know. And where do you live? At West Plaza, Berlin. What is so bad there that you had to run away? My dad hates me. No, he could not. Mom wants to move away with me. Because he's cheating on her. I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand at all. You are confused, James. You should not be here alone. You need a friend. Mm. I'll take care of you. Come now. Come on.
Checkmate. Congratulations, James. I'll be increasing the difficulty by another 10%. Your father is coming. Oh no, he doesn't like bots. Do something. Uh, show them that you're good. Just what I thought. Dad, it's a... Uh... I can see what it is. Great, Tracy. Just great. That is what you got him? That piece of junk? But, Dad! Simon, do something. Richard! No, Richard. I want that thing out of here. Now. Calm down, Richard. Mom! I don't want this pile of trash here in my house. This Frankenstein freak. Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? Mom, tell him! But, sir, Mrs. Tracy... It's okay. My wife, my son. You're both obsessed with this crap, just like everyone else. It is not human, you understand? It's not real. It can't live. It's false. I'm registering that you're angry, sir. Really? James is our son, Richard. Do you not want him to be happy? Come on, our son. Don't try it on. I am the one who has to earn the money to finance your... Both of your... This whole... Keep talking. And you. Why did you leave? I told you not to leave the apartment. You left him alone. Gah! I'm so sick of all this. I'm sick of it too. Believe me. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going back to New York. Is that man still living in the 20s? Look at this crap. You stay here, Base 5. Dr. Sykes. Sir, may I point out that you're trespassing? Hospitality, my friend. What's he doing in Richard's apartment? Sir, Mrs. Nolan asked me to... Mrs. Nolan is gone. Is there a problem here, Base 5? No, sir. I apologize. Come on, go play something on that thing over there. Go on. Play. There's something wrong with that Base 5. Hey! Keep on playing. Play on. 
Go on. What's the bot doing? Is he improvising? Play! All right. Play this one, then. The lab's ready. Deliver Nolan to Carter. I have to return to New York. It's none of my business, Doctor, but why Richard Nolan? The AI needs guidance. Someone to open up to. He'll, of course, be modified. And Nolan's wife? Useless. I told them this external data thing is like Russian roulette. But Kurtz had to give that woman a brand new past. Well... Knew is what she got. And there's certain Nolan can be convinced. We'll see. If he genuinely misses his family, we might stand a chance. And if not, we have the narcotic. He's coming. Tracy? James? Who are you? Mr. Nolan, don't be alarmed. Please, take a seat. What are you doing in my apartment? Sir, I believe these men want to- You shut your mouth. That'll be all, Base 5. Switch off the bot, Quinn, and delete his recording. What's going on? Where's my son? Sir, I be... I sent you new data. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. And? What did you experience? I saw bots in a factory. Bots? That's strange. Your wife was there, too. Along with Dr. Kurtz. What, in the factory? Adam, what factory? Where? I don't know, and I don't care. What? What happened? This kid, James. He was alone. He only had a bot with him. Why did you leave him alone? Who? You mean Tracy and me? No. Who then? He was all alone. You've gone too far. This has all gone too far. Adam, please. What did Tracy say? Did she talk about any kind of upload? No more calls. And keep away from my son. He is not your son! He needs to go home. He needs his parents. He has his parents. No, he has not. It's his damn right to speak to me. And it's also mine. That's enough. 
John is my son. He lives under my roof. All this other stuff? It's just... It's just crazy. You know that it's real. Even if... Doesn't mean that it's right. Adam, listen to me. I have been, Richard. Long enough. You're a liar. A cheater. And you're not a father. <sighs> this all has nothing to do with me. Even that bot, Simon. Simon? The bot was called Simon? I'm going to get my son. Adam! We're ending this now. <laughs>